There's no shortage of Christmas movies, from classics such as A Christmas Story to National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. You're sure to find a movie that fits your mood. I hope you have your ugliest Christmas sweater on and a mug of hot chocolate in your hand because we're going to take a peek at the 15 best Christmas movies of all time. Ho, 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 let's go! Number 15. It's a Wonderful Life. Unlike most other lists of best Christmas movies, we're going to put this one right here at the beginning, not at the very end. If you haven't seen this movie, then you probably haven't been anywhere near a television during the month of December, ever. In fact, it's been shown so much that some channel surfers see it and are like, oh no, not again. Anything but it's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. <laughs> Even if you've seen it a million times, it's still a comfortable, heartwarming story fit for the season. George Bailey is ready to give up on life until an angel shows him what the world would be like if he didn't exist. It's been around since 1946 and is a beloved, by most, classic. The plot has been borrowed by many other films and sitcoms over the years, each adding their own twist, but nothing compares to the original. Number 14. Gremlins. A salesman picks up a unique Christmas gift, a mogwai, for his son. Being a live creature, adorable as it is, there's no instruction manual, but there are a few warnings, like not getting him wet or feeding him after midnight. Things get weird when the instructions aren't followed and this wholesome tale turns into a bit of a horror movie or a monster flick, kind of. The family wrestles with what to do with the gremlins who aren't nearly as cute or lovable as the mogwai. Seriously, these things are almost as ugly as the 70s AMC gremlin. The word gremlin comes from the Royal Air Force in the early 1900s. The term referred to imaginary mischievous creatures that were to blame for malfunctions in aircraft or machinery. Number 13, Home Alone. Home Alone is a 1990 comedy film that features Macaulay Culkin as an eight-year-old kid, Kevin McAllister, who accidentally gets left home alone when his parents fly to Paris for Christmas. At first, he doesn't miss his family much, and before long he finds himself defending the family home against a pair of inept burglars. In the sappy ending, Kevin learns to appreciate the joys of the holiday season and the importance of family. But the best parts of this movie are the scenes where the wet bandits are foiled by the ingenious booby traps Kevin sets for them. It's hard to believe this movie came out over 30 years ago. Wow, when did I get so old? Number 12, A Christmas Story. All Ralphie Wants for Christmas is an official Red Rider carbine action 200 shot range model air rifle. And all the people around him have to say is, you'll shoot your eye out. But Ralphie wants this thing badly and he is not giving up. Along the way, we get to know the quirky but totally relatable problems and people around Ralphie. This movie, set in the 1940s Midwest, gives us the iconic tongue stuck to the flagpole scene and a fondness for a leg-shaped table lamp. May it rest in peace. Clevelanders might recognize some of the scenery and landmarks since the exterior scenes were shot in Cleveland. Number 11, Die Hard. You can argue that Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie, but it's set at a Christmas party and the soundtrack features Christmas and Hollis by Run DMC, one of the few Christmas songs that doesn't get on my nerves, so it's on the list. It has the requisite Christmas decorations and music, but that's about all it has in common with most Christmas classics. It's packed with action scenes, badassery, quite a few laughs, and some great lines. Despite any objections, it's still one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Die Hard premiered in 1988, yeah, over three decades ago. Number 10, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. No, not the modern Jim Carrey version. It's fine, but I'm talking about the original 1966 animated Dr. Seuss classic. The Grinch, a bitter and mischievous creature, has a plan. He's gonna steal Christmas from all those carefree who's in Whoville. And his dog is going to be an accomplice whether he likes it or not. Anyone else remember as a kid finding a seat on the shag carpet in front of the console TV when the special came on in the days leading up to Christmas? Oh, that's just me? Okay, moving on. Number 9, A Christmas Carol, the 1951 version. Originally an 1843 book written by Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol tells of Ebenezer Scrooge, a grouchy old tightwad who's visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future. Because of these encounters, Scrooge instantly decides to see the world differently and be a lot less of a curmudgeon and a lot more considerate and generous. The classic has been remade countless times in movies and television shows, but again, nothing beats the original. Number 8. The Santa Claus A classic holiday movie that will definitely get you in the festive spirit. It follows the story of Scott Calvin, a divorced dad who accidentally causes Santa Claus to fall off his roof on Christmas Eve. As a result, Scott invokes the Santa Claus, with an E, and is magically transformed into the new Kris Kringle. As he tries to navigate his new role and responsibilities, he learns some valuable lessons about the true meaning of Christmas and the importance of family. Whether you're a fan of Tim Allen's comedic performance or just love a heartwarming holiday tale, The Santa Claus is a must-watch for any Christmas movie lover. Number 7, Miracle on 34th Street. One classic recipe for a solid Christmas movie is a story where the magic beats out logic. 
And that's exactly what happens in this 1947 classic. A single mom has no interest in imagination for herself or for her daughter. Meanwhile, she finds herself hiring a store Santa Claus who believes he is actually the real Santa Claus. Chris Kringle finds himself in court defending his identity when, in a Perry Mason moment involving sacks of mail addressed to Santa Claus, he prevails. Legal proceedings aside, the little girl and her mother question their commitment to reality when they both see some Christmas magic materialize in their lives. Number 6. Elf The story follows Buddy, a human who was accidentally raised by elves at the North Pole. When he learns about his true identity, Buddy sets off on a journey to New York City to find his father, a cynical children's book publisher. Along the way, Buddy's childlike enthusiasm and naive nature cause chaos in the big city, but he manages to win over his skeptical family and spread holiday cheer. Whether you're a Will Ferrell fan or not, he makes the character of Buddy the Elf both real and ridiculous all at the same time, which sets this story up for non-stop laughs. Number 5. A Charlie Brown Christmas The classic animated special follows the story of Charlie Brown, who's feeling down and disconnected from the holiday spirit. Meanwhile, he's put in charge of directing the school's Christmas play, but with Snoopy and his friends on his side, everything will work out great except maybe his effort to find a Christmas tree. But hey, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree has become the household term to define a pitiful tree that you just can't help but love. Number 4. Bad Santa Despite its title, Bad Santa is actually a heartwarming tale of redemption wrapped in hilarity. It's about a crotchety alcoholic thief named Willie T. Stokes, played by Billy Bob Thornton, who poses as a mall Santa in order to rob the store on Christmas Eve. Along for the ride is his equally misbehaved elf Marcus, played by Tony Cox. This movie follows Willie and Marcus as they engage in all sorts of debauchery and mischief. Along the way, Willie befriends a young bullied boy who helps him rediscover the holiday spirit. Number th along the way. Number two, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Our beloved Rudolph is the butt of all the jokes because apparently reindeer are a lot like sixth graders and enjoy making fun of anyone and anything that's different. Rudolph and a new friend venture around and meet the abominable snowman and then a cast of characters on the island of misfit toys. When it's time to take to the sky on Christmas Eve, a thick fog threatens to make the flight impossible and Santa is faced with canceling his gift delivery run. This was way before Uber and Amazon Prime were options. Rudolph to the rescue with his bright red honker breaking the fog and leading the way. The story of Rudolph was written by Robert May, a copywriter for the Montgomery Ward Department Store in 1939 as a promotional item to give away to kids during the holiday season. Number 1. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation This is probably my personal favorite on this list. You just can't help but root for Clark Griswold, who just wants the perfect Christmas for his family. What he ends up with isn't anything close to what he envisioned, but the accidents and hijinks give us plenty to laugh at along the way. Cousin Eddie stands out as someone that provides lots of entertainment because you just never know what he's going to do next. Really, every character in this movie has a unique personality and reminds us of someone we encounter over the holiday season. Are there any Christmas favorites that we missed on this list? Let us know in the comments!